What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Currency Counts where I cover all things money, from how to save money, make more money, side hustles, and everything in between. In today's video, we're gonna cover a credit product that loans up to $50,000 even with bad credit. So with a credit score of at least 580, you can get approved for this loan. So let's check it out. All right, so before we begin, I'm just gonna very quickly answer a few sub questions on my channel. So the first one comes from FatMac200 and he says, hold up. How long should you wait if you got declined for a credit card or tomo well it all depends on your situation just like everything else what do you have on your credit report why did you get declined for the tomo and the credit card if you got declined for the tomo that's because your banking situation is bad if you got declined for a credit card that's because your credit score is bad so you're going to want to fix those check your credit score or make sure you don't have any NSFs on your bank account for the TOMO and then reapply. Don't just go reapplying or wait a month and reapply and nothing's changed in your situation. Make sure that you've got everything straightened out before you reapply. So this next one, I don't know if it's a question or a statement. It's from Danielle Spruill. She says, you have to have $1,000 in the bank to be approved. Talking about the TOMO no credit check line of credit. No. You don't have to have $1,000 in the bank to be approved, but you do have to have a positive bank balance and you can't have any NSFs within the past six months. The next one is from Gilmer Godoy and he asks, Cuanto es el interés? Which is how much is the interest? Again, talking about the Prosper $40,000 loan. It all depends on your credit. It's gonna range from 25% all the way to 39.9%. The next one is from Diana Kwakugu. Hi, can I get money loan to at eight? Really need 250,000, please. I will give it back to you in five months. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right, sure. DR3 says, talking about the Self Lender Credit Builder Program. Yeah, it's legit. Went from a non-existent credit score to a 619 in two months. Nice. Don't forget to send in your questions so I can answer them in the next video. Let's get into it. So you're gonna wanna stick around for the whole video because there's a lot of different fees and levels to this loan. This way you can make an educated decision before applying. And I'm gonna show you what you need to actually qualify. So I'm here at the website, upgrade.com. And they have a few different products, a personal loan, the upgrade card, and a checking account. But the product we're covering today is a personal loan, which you can receive up to $50,000 with a minimum credit score of 580. Applying is easy. You're gonna check your rate, choose your offer, and get funded one day after approval. The way you're gonna apply here is pretty simple straightforward you're gonna put the amount you want to borrow now remember you can put fifty thousand dollars but just because you want to borrow fifty thousand doesn't mean you're gonna get approved for the full fifty but might as well shoot for the moon right throw in 50 g's right off the bat they're gonna ask you what you want the loan for let's just go with a large purchase you're gonna go to check your rate from here, you're gonna enter all your personal information. There will be a few things you need to upload and verify, like your ID, check stubs, and bank statements. So once you enter all your personal information, they're gonna run a soft pull on your credit. Upgrade pulls from your TransUnion credit report. If you don't accept terms, whether you don't like the amount you got financed or the APR, no harm, no foul, they won't run a hard pull on your credit and you can move on to the next one. If you do accept terms, loan may be funded within one day of approval, but it may take up to three days to be approved for the loan. And the funding bank is Cross River Bank. One thing I do like about this loan is that the application and approval process is 100% online. A lot of other companies offering big loan amounts may require you to talk to an underwriter over the phone. Not a big deal, but we're in the 21st century. I don't wanna talk to nobody. Give it to me online. So let's go over some of the qualifications you're gonna need to qualify for this loan. You're gonna need a credit score of at least 580. There's no minimum annual income, but obviously the more income you make the more you're going to get approved for you'll need a minimum of two open accounts on your credit report and your maximum debt to income ratio can't be more than 75 percent which depending on how you look at it can be a good thing all that means is if you make a hundred thousand dollars a year you can't have more than seventy five thousand dollars in debt let me break that down lower if you make twenty five thousand dollars a year you can't have more than eighteen thousand seven hundred sixty dollars in debt the lower the debt to income ratio you have the more you potentially get qualified for. One thing you're gonna to wanna to remember, a number they do throw in is this new upgrade loan. So for example, if you're making $25,000 and you have 17.5 in debt, they're only gonna approve you for 1,000 because a max debt to income ratio can only be 18.5. So if you get approved for 10, you're not gonna get that 10, you'll only get one 
because of your debt to income ratio. So you would have to actually bring that all the way down to 8,000 in order to be qualified for that $10,000 and hit that 75% cap on the debt to income ratio. That's just something to think about. So let's go over some of the terms and fees. Terms are gonna be from 24 to 84 months, two to seven years. The APR on this loan is as low as 5.94 and as high as 35.47. And there is a half a percent discount point for setting up auto pay. Upgrade reports to the three major credit bureaus. One of the features, I guess you can call it, to this loan is a hardship program. If for some reason you can't make payment to the loan anymore, you can request a temporary payment reduction or a permanent loan modification. Origination fees always leave me kind of hesitant into applying for loans that have them because that's just kind of like kicking you when you're down. This loan product has an origination fee of 2.9 to 8%. Hear what I said, 8% origination fee. So if you're applying with less than perfect credit or bad credit, like a lot of us are, you're gonna get hit with the 8% origination fee. It's not going towards principal or interest, it's just a fee for lending you money. Let's do a quick loan example here. I hear the birds chirping outside and they're only gonna get louder. So if we have a $10,000 loan at 36 months, which is three years at a 17.98 APR, and a 5% origination fee, which comes out to $500, you would receive $9,500. You got approved for 10,000, but you have a $500 origination fee. So right off the bat, you're getting 9,500. You're gonna have a monthly payment of $343.33 and that's for three years. Total paid back would be $12,359.97. Total interest you would have paid $2,859.90 plus your $500 origination fee. So with the fees and interest, you would have paid $3,359.90. That's way over 30% depending on how you look at it. So you may wanna ask yourself, even if you do get approved for a large amount, do you really need this money? What do you need this money for? Because if you're borrowing this money just because you got approved for it, well, that's not a good enough reason because it's gonna end up hurting you in the long term. You just paid the bank, let's round up, $3,400. What could you have done with $3,400? I understand a lot of times people need money and there's not a lot of places to get it with bad credit, so this is an option. If you do apply and get approved, let me know how much you got approved for. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out all my other credit product reviews. Check you on the next one.